Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about the different measures of position for ungrouped data. In grade 7, you started learning about the mean, median, and mode, which are used to measure central tendencies, yung middle position. Okay? But right now, we are going to start learning about the different measures of position for a given data set. So, hindi lang yung nasa middle position, but the different measures, uh, different positions in a given data set. Lyndon B. Johnson, the 36th President of the United States, said that the noblest search of today is the search for excellence. So mankind has always been in pursuit of excellence. In fact, we usually rank performances. So there are rankings in performances. So in school, we have experiences being ranked depending on our performance in class. Those who perform well in their academic subjects receive an award. We also recognize those people who are talented in sports and in the arts. Appreciation is given to those who deserve to be recognized. Now, mathematically speaking, we employ different statistical tools to rank the performance of people. In this unit, we are going to learn how to rank scores in a given set of data. And we are going to use measures of position like the quartile, decile, and percentile rankings. Now, in this um, video particularly, we are going to discuss quartile. Okay, quartile. Now, what is a quartile? So, let's talk about that. So, this is lesson one for quartiles for ungrouped data. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to accurately compute quartiles of ungrouped data, properly illustrate quartiles of ungrouped data, and correctly solve problems involving quartiles. So when we say ungrouped data, ibig sabihin yung data that we are going to analyze is um, listed pa, no? naka raw scores pa, wala pa siyang groupings, wala pang interval. Okay? Hindi pa naka 1 to 15, 16 to 30, wala pang ganon. Okay? So it's ungrouped data. Now ano nga ba ang quartiles? Okay. Points, uh, quartiles are points that divide a ranked data into four equal parts. Okay. Four equal parts. Each set of data has three quartiles denoted by Q sub i, where i equals 1, 2, and 3. Now, take note of the word four equal parts, apat na parte, pero ang quartiles natin hanggang three lang. So, we have Q sub 1, that's the first quartile. Q sub 2, that's the second quartile, and Q sub 3, that's the third quartile. We don't have the fourth quartile, okay? Bakit? Malalaman natin mamaya. The first quartile, denoted by Q sub 1, is a number such that 25% of the data are smaller in value than that um, first quartile, and 75% are larger than this first quartile. It represents the middle value of the values to the left of the median. Take note that the median is the middle score, the middle position. So, yung kalahati ng kalahati, okay? Yung kalahati ng kalahati, that is the first quartile, okay? It is also called the lower quartile. Yung first quartile, aka lower quartile. If there are n observations in a set of data, the first quartile is the one-fourth times n plus one th. Take note of the word th here, meaning it's the rank. We are talking about the rank, not the score itself. Okay? Th observation when the data are arranged ascendingly. So, meaning if we are going to look for the uh, first quartile, we need to arrange the data set first. Okay? We need to arrange the data set first from the lowest score hanggang sa highest score. Okay. Ano naman ngayon ang second quartile, denoted by Q sub 2? This refers to the number such that 50% of the data are below, the, uh, below and above in value than the second quartile. Okay. Kung ang first quartile ay 25% lower sa kanya, 75% are higher than the first quartile. Ang second quartile naman nasa middle siya, no? Nasa middle. So, 50% is lower than the second quartile and 50% is higher than the second quartile. So, the second quartile is the one-half 
yung first quartile kanina, that's one-fourth. Ito naman, one-half. And times n plus 1 th observation when the data are arranged ascendingly. Now, the third quartile denoted by q sub 3, it's the number such that 75% of the data are smaller in value than the third quartile and 25% are larger than it. Okay? 25% are larger. It represents the middle value of all the values to the right of the median. So, ang median ay middle position, one half nyan is higher than the median. Yung kalahati, yung kalahati nung higher than the median is what we call the third quartile or also known as the upper quartile. Kung ang Q sub 1 or ang first quartile is the lower quartile, Q sub 3 is the upper quartile. If there are n observations in a set of data, the third quartile is the 3 fourth times n plus 1 th observation when the data are arranged ascendingly. So take note if we are looking for uh, the first quartile, it's 1 fourth here. Okay, the rest are the same, times n plus 1 th. If we are looking for q sub 2, it's 1 half dito kasi kalahati. Okay, if we are looking for q sub 3, that's 3 fourth. Right? Now, to illustrate that, we have here um, the positions of our quartiles. This is L is the lowest score. H is the highest score. Now, the first quartile is here. Take note that the data set is divided into four equal parts. So, we have here the first, first 25%, the second 25%, the third 25%, and the fourth 25%. So, apat na equal parts yan. Now, in each part, andito yung mga quartiles natin. So, we have here the first quartile, below niya 25%, above is 75%. Yung second quartile, uh, 50% yung below niya, 50% yung above. Ang third quartile natin, 75% below, 25% are above this score. Okay, we also have what we call interquartile range. Interquartile range. It is the difference between the upper and the lower quartiles of a set of data. Take note of the word upper quartile and the lower quartile. Upper quartile is the third quartile. The lower quartile is the first quartile. It is used to measure the spread of a set of data. So, when we... Uh, determine the interquartile range, it tells us how spread the data is. Gaano kalayo, gaano kalayo ang scores sa isa't isa. Okay? So, this is because it is not affected by outliers. So, we have here the formula for interquartile range. That is just the third quartile minus the first quartile. Example, if the third quartile is 15 and the first quartile is 4, then, the interquartile range is equal to 15 minus 4, and that is 11. Okay, 11. Let's try this. Example number 1. Given a set of data with first quartile equals 45.5, and the second quartile is 58.25, and the third quartile is 84.55, find the interquartile range. So, substitute lang natin, hindi natin kailangan yung second quartile. Sa interquartile range, we only have Q sub 3 minus Q sub 1. And that is 84.55 minus 45.5. And that is equal to 39.5. So, it tells us that the interquartile range is 39.05. Masyadong malayo. Okay? Masyadong malayo yung first quartile sa third quartile. Now, example number two, the values in a set of data are as follows. So, we have 12, 12, 13, hanggang 20. Find the first quartile, the second quartile, and the third quartile. Unang-una natin gawin, dapat i-arrange muna natin ang data set from lowest to highest. Okay, arrange the data in ascending order and determine the number of observations. Ilan ba sila lahat? 
Okay, so the set of data has 15. 15 ito lahat. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 15 observations. And they arrange ang data in ascending order. So, lowest natin is 12, highest is 25. So, naka-arrange yan lahat. Alright? So, let's solve for the first quartile. First quartile is found on the 1 fourth times n plus 1 th observation. So, substituting, we have 1 fourth times 15 plus 1. 15 plus 1 is 16. So, that's 16 times 1 is 16 divided by 4. That's 4. Meaning, okay, meaning nito, hindi yung 4 na score. This is the fourth position. Okay? Yung fourth in rank, yung fourth position, that's the first quartile. Okay? So, we have here the arrangement. So, fourth, one, two, three, four. So, this is the fourth position. So, meaning, Q sub 1 equals 13. Okay? Q sub 1 equals 13. Meaning to say, 25% are below 13 and 75% of the scores are above 13. And ngayon naman, let's solve for the second quartile. Q sub 2 is found on the 1 half times n plus 1 th. Okay, solve for it. Substitution lang. So, 15 plus 1 again is 16. So, 1 half of 16, that's 8. So, this is not the score, but this is the position. It's the 8th score. And that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so this one is the 8th position, 8th observation, and so that's the second quartile, meaning 50% are below 16 and 50% are above 16. Now, let's solve for the third quartile. Q3 is found on the 3 fourth times n plus 1 th observation, Substitu substitution tayo, so 15 plus 1 is 16. 3 fourth of 16, that is 12. So, it's the 12th observation. Let's go back to our data set na naka-arrange. So, yung pang 12, this is the 50, 15 sila lahat. So, this is the 15th, 14th, 13th, 12th. So, this is the 12th observation. And so, that's the third quartile.